Hello once again, this is Eric with Master Tour Pair. Okay, we have a simple tutorial video, how to wire up a pressure switch. Here we have a furnace uh, type pressure switch and a condor type pressure switch right here. And of course, just for the sake of this video, we have standard three prong or three wire uh, cord. All right, see so for the furnace style, just take cover off, which is one Phillips head screw. You have four terminal blocks, and of course, on the base, the green screws for the ground wires. Very simple uh, to do. Both switches will be very, very similar. Here, as you look uh, on your new switch, you'll see on the plastic block next to the terminals and the screws, you'll see motor and line. Of course, the two motor wires will install to the top ports and terminals, and line or power cord on the bottom. Of course, you'll take your black and white, and from the power cord, attach it to the line uh, terminals. Of course, it does not matter which black and white go where on the line blocks, as long as you do have black and white from the power cord going into the line terminals. Doesn't matter if it's black or white. And of course, install the ground wire on the base. On the other end, of course, uh, which will be a separate uh, cord, you'll do the same with the motor. You know, black and white go to each of the motor terminals on top, and of course, your ground wire on the base. <coughs> on your Condor type switch, very, very similar. You should take the cover off. Different type of uh, connection. This would be like a flag uh, terminal that will simply you know, push on to the terminals. So you might have a different connection, whether it be flag, spade, or what have you, but uh, just you know, use the appropriate type of uh, terminal on your uh, wire. Right here we have, instead of motor on top, we have line on top. So line on the top, motor on the bottom. Of course, install black and white from the power cord and line, black and white from the motor cord it's from your wall to your motor uh, on the motor section. And again, it doesn't matter. And both switches will wire you know, for 120 volts or 230, 240 volts. They wire for either. And you have your, of course, your ground wire installed into the thread right here in the base of the switch. And that's basically how to wire a switch. Of course, if you have any more questions, Consult your manual or the manufacturer of your unit or simply call into a sales rep and we'd be glad to assist you further if possible. Thank you very much.